I believe that the Sunshot Hand Cannon in Destiny 2 will be the best, if not one of the best weapons when Destiny 2 is released. A little disclaimer before we get into this, none of the footage shown here is mine. I will have the links to the original videos in the description if you want to check them out. And I know it's really early to say something is the best for one of the best guns in D2 when the beta hasn't even come out yet, but as long as nothing changes with this gun, I believe it will be up there in some of the most sought after exotics upon release. Now when I look at the Sunshot, I'm going to be comparing it to probably the best exotic hand cannon in Destiny 1, which was the Fatebringer. And the Sunshot is better in nearly every way. Um, the Fatebringer is renowned as being one of Destiny's greatest weapons, more so in Year 1 than in Year 3, but it is still used very often. Now, the reason the Fatebringer was so good at Destiny 1 was because it was just an amazing weapon for killing things. Lots of things very fast. I feel that the Sunshot is an even better version of this. So, Fatebringer has a Firefly perk, Sunshot has Firefly on body shots. Um, this is just insane because you don't need to hit headshots to proc probably the best perk in Destiny 1. Um, it appears to have further range than the Fatebringer, but that may just be Destiny 2 hand cannons in general. It looks amazing, it just looks, the aesthetic of the gun is so nice, and it sounds really, really crisp. The Sunshot deals solar damage, which in Destiny 1 was the best element, but who knows if that will remain the same in Destiny 2. And it also has explosive rounds, just like the Fatebringer. It's only worse than the Fatebringer in two ways. It has 8 rounds in the magazine, while the Fatebringer has 10. And it has a tiny spit slower reload time than the base Fatebringer, and it's way slower reload than the Fatebringer when you proc Outlaw. But this actually isn't that big of a deal in Destiny 2. There are plenty of ways to increase or remove reload times. The Titan class ability, for instance, it instantly reloads weapons whenever you duck behind it. The Hunter's side dodge reloads weapons when used. Both of these abilities can be used once every 30 seconds, so that's free reloads all the time. The Hunter's Chain of Woe helps reload times, and not old, you don't even have to be a Hunter to get Chain of Woe, because Chain of Woe applies to all your teammates when they're nearby. So reloading is much less of a problem in D2 than it is in D1. Now we aren't even able to see all the perks that the Sunshot has yet, so it may have more perks in its tree that allow it to be an even better gun. So to recap, the Sunshot is basically a better version of a Fatebringer. The only thing it doesn't have going for it is the reload time, but due to Destiny 2, having so many abilities that increase reload time or completely remove it, it doesn't even matter that much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little speculation video. I know it is very early to call something the best gun in Destiny 2, but I firmly believe that this gun will be extremely sought after when the game does come out, and I am so excited to get my hands on it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more Destiny 2 videos of course. Check y'all later. Bye-bye.